This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Laurent versus Laurent. Uh, you all have been married for two years and together for a total of seven years. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Laurent, why have you brought your husband to court today? Your Honor, because I have found countless messages to different women on his phone and his Facebook. And I'm just to the point that I'm not at a breaking point. I'm broken. And I need help with my marriage if this is going to continue. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Laurent, what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that, yeah, I entertain females on social media on the sense that when I come home or something from work or want her attention, she's always in her phone. And it's like, it gets to the point when I'm talking to her about my day or trying to communicate to her, she's in her phone. She doesn't give me the attention that I asked for, and she makes it seem like wow. now that we've been through our situations and we hatch things out, it'll still be a point where it's getting thrown back up again. All right, so you admit that you're talking to other women and entertaining other women on social media. Yes. But you contend that nothing yes. else is going on. Nothing else. My phone now lately, I haven't had no codes on my phone. She can get in my um, Facebook account at any time. Are you saying that currently there's nothing going on? You've had no physical relationship with these women? Nothing. And, and I believe she know that off the strength that when I work and come home, I, I'm tired. Miss Laurent, it doesn't look like you're buying this. Tell I'm me not buying it. I have. So you believe he's cheating? I know he's cheating. Ooh. What does that feel like, love? I'm hurt, because I get this man all of me. Not some, not part. I get him all of me. And I don't feel like he appreciate me as much as I appreciate him. So what you're saying is today, everything is on the line. Our whole life. Your whole life is on Our the line. Our whole life. I came for help, and if we can't get no help, it's just over. Like, he's a continuous liar. He is a manipulator. Like, he lies beyond the point. Like, he making me... He turning me against myself. Yeah. Like, he made me think, like, I'm crazy, or yeah. it don't happen like that, or you didn't see that. Like, I'm crazy or Jeez. something. It's clear that this is a relationship in trouble. But also, it couldn't have been this way all the time. You all have been together seven years. There must have been something at the beginning. What did it look like in the beginning? We was Bunny and Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell yeah, me what that means. Honestly. Like, we Go was ahead. just... I don't know. He's the man to me, and I'm the woman to him. Like, we just... When we met, it was kind of like love at first sight. Like, okay. I love this man, still do. <laughs> he act like I don't give him no attention, Your Honor. I don't give him attention because he entertain the other women. All my right, so... And, you my time. She, no, she and, and to that point... I entertain my phone on. because my phone is more entertaining than him. My phone's not cheating. My, my phone's point. not lying. I play games. I, I, All right, let me say something I, right I, here. I, I, when you say it, Mr. Laurent, well, she's not giving me any attention, so I'm going and getting it from somewhere else. Two wrongs don't make it right. Just because she's doing something that you don't approve of doesn't make it right for you to do something that is absolutely not appropriate. What are you getting emotionally from these women that you should be trying to get from your wife? Just to be able to vent about the situation, because some of the most of the time they're they're in a situation where they can understand where I'm coming from. I feel like if I... What I'm not giving him at home, what your sex sometimes, because I don't feel like he deserve it, he has no problem with going to look for it. Mr. Laurent, is that true? That you go outside your marriage no, bed? Very. No. I don't go outside my marriage and look for sex. When I try to get intimate with her, she, oh, you're a hornball. All you want to do is have sex. Slap. No. Wait a minute. I understand she's saying no. What I'm asking is you going to somebody who's saying yes. That's the question. No. No. Because if yes. that's the case, I would be. No, happy you wouldn't. With being no, no, I would no, be happy no. To be a single. Them, no. You don't get to do, do that. what I do. You don't get it to do that. It ain't about laying up. I take care of him. I'm a woman about my house. All right, Miss Laurent, has he admitted to being with any other women? Not until we came here. He make it seem like everything is before me or everything is senseless. But if it was senseless, I wouldn't be finding deleted messages. I wouldn't be deleted. What, ha what has he admitted to? He don't admit to nothing. He just said, I did it. When she asked me a certain question, have I talked to this female? Have I talked to this female? Yes. But at the time of me admitting it to her right then and there, her angry and mad, I can't come at her like that. I have one question. It's a yes or no question. Have you been with another woman sexually since you've been married or with Miss Laurent? Ma'am, can I clear this question up for you? Listen. No. This is a yes or no question. I have, ma'am. Huh? I have. At the you time, have? At the time that she put me out. At All the right. time that she so... put me over. 
and okay. we're still legally married. So all right, so let me yes let me let me make sure I got this. You had sexual relations with another woman since you've been married. However, it was when you all were having a break. Yes. And so in your mind, your relationship was over. She put on social media and tell everybody else in the world that she's single. We're not together. And, and so, and based on that, you I act like a single man because you thought she was acting like a single woman. Yeah, and she tells me she's gonna talk to other guys and do other guys. Hold I on, one, so. more, one more question. Wait, wait, wait. One more question. Other than that one time during your break, have you been with another woman sexually? No. All right, so you got the one. I have... She knows about the female, but I feel you, Honor. He got mad and then threw her in my face. It ain't like I just knew... He got mad and then started sending pictures to my phone of the girl. That's how I found out. No. He took this up to the casino and all out of town, and they never even took no one... T- took me to a casino. June 3rd, he left at, like, 10 o'clock at night, said he was going out with his friends. Bam, I didn't call this man. I didn't text this man. I let him enjoy his little time. I got in the bed and went to sleep with my baby. So, he gets in the bed, it's kind of find out it's like 3.30. About 4 o'clock, his phone go off. Okay, wherever you just coming from, they trying to make sure you okay. So, I get the phone. He dead sleep. Go through the test. It's, it's this girl in there, Yana. She was like, why you left? He was like, oh, because I want to have sex. She was like, but I told you the kids was here. He was like, okay. So, then, when I did get the phone, it was question marks. So, basically, I guess she was questioning him, like, is you coming back or not? Okay. It wasn't in a text was saying me saying to her I wanted to have sex. And, Your and Honor, I my have messages was, of him from, telling women he thinking about her. them. She you should be thinking about me. Like it's me. You have messages? Yes, ma'am. Of him texting other women on Facebook. I'd like to see that, Ron. Please, would you get those? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Y'all, see, I'm not with the. Hold on, tat. hold on, Mr. Laurent. You could be tit for tat. That's what we came for, cause you ain't got nothing on me. All right, this is Mr. Laurent. It says, thinking about you. Hey there. How you been? Let me get back to you after I get out of work, but I've been amazing. You know that, man. Your wife will flip. She see my name, we've been through this. Wish we could be friends. I'll send you my number. And he did. Okay. Did, All you, right. did you have this exchange with this woman? Yep, and we was on the outs. We was He going was standing in my mom's house with me. How are we on the outs? Not with that message. And so, did you have any sexual contact with this woman? No. And the crazy part about it is my wife was putting out there that we're not together on social media. When we be on bad terms, yes, I do say we're not together. I'm not gonna claim you and you right here laying up with her and her. Okay, but here's the deal. There's another message here from a second woman. And she says, we tried that before, and you left your phone for her to get, and then I had to answer my phone when she called, and she, it was a mess. You suck. And then you respond, not with her. Okay. Your Facebook say different. Thank you. Because I don't... So I, he I, don't I, claim me to then. I know, ma'am. When they say my Facebook says different, it's because when I get in an outing with my wife, I don't change my name or change my relationship status or post to the world that I'm not with my wife. You she just does act that. out that no, you ain't with just, your wife. No, just do I don't it. do anything till I see her doing it and posting it to the world. Please tell me you don't have any other instances that he is being unfaithful to you yes, right ma'am. now. Yes, ma'am. He be having scratches on his back and his chest. And he say it come because he got eczema and, and he scratch his stuff. But you please, both of y'all, reach around and try to scratch y'all back in the middle. Do it work? Yes. Do you have eczema? Real bad. And she knows that she can see my chest, my stomach, my back. She been with me seven years. She know in the summertime how bad it gets when I'm okay. sweating, how bad it gets. She knows that. And it itches so bad that at times I don't know that I'm itching it that well, hard. Well, how are the scratches getting in the middle of your back? I can reach the middle of my back. It hurts Let, that let bad. Let me see that. Let me see, let me see. see that. It, it itches that bad, and that's how I get oh, it. Oh, like, he can. I get it. I get it. My chest, all that. I get okay. it. Okay. Miss Laurent, if the proof is in the pudding, he can scratch the I back of his nails. back. I got nails. <laughs> I got nails myself. I can't, I can't do... I don't think I... See, I can't that. either. I can't get it like that. I can't... I don't know. You that, need... That's what he say. But Mr. you don't Cutler. believe him. And then I have people coming to my house telling me that my husband been riding around with this woman, riding around with this woman. He done got caught in the car with one of my close friends' brother, girlfriend. I talked to the boy and asked him himself. I said, why would you take that to my wife? He said, I didn't tell your wife nothing. You, my sister told her. Well, were you in the car with... This guy's girlfriend. Because she gives rides, yes. And what I... kind of rides? 
Okay. All right, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Right. She give that. Wait a minute. That begs yeah. the question. Yeah. What kind of ride were you getting? Yeah. What kind of ride did you get, Mr. Laura? It wasn't at four in the morning either. It was. I'm you don't. Know, you, know, you can yeah. ride all time today. Oh, you don't, yeah. We don't. We don't have a vehicle at the moment, so it was like if I need a ride, I, I might text her or call her. But I asked her boyfriend or, or her mother in law or her mother in law. Is it all right? And most of the time, the mother-in-law's in the car with us. All right. Uh, Miss Laurent, I see you brought a witness with you. Yes, sir. Uh, who is your witness? My mom, Nicole Terry. Okay. Uh, Miss Terry, can you tell the court what you know about this situation? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Here we go. Um, one day, okay. he asked to use my phone, so I let him use the phone. He went on Messenger. He didn't never log out a Messenger on my phone. So about... Maybe a week or so later, my messenger rings. So I'm like, this ain't for me. This is the first time. So I called. I, I called my daughter from downstairs and told her to come up here real quick. We get upstairs. He texts the woman on messenger. We reading everything that he texts her because it's showing up on your phone. Oh, so on what did he phone. say? So what did he, he say? He basically was like. Um, Telling the lady about um she's supposed to be giving him some money or when he gonna see her, she can come pick him up from my house. Mr. Laurent. Yeah. Respond. I don't know the message or the situation they even talking about. I don't even remember ever using my mother in law phone to do any kind of texting. I'm, I'm, cause he's trying to make me like I'm Okay, a all right. I, I love you. I, I think you're not. I'm not trying to Mr. make you a bad guy. Mr. Loran, I love him like he's my son. And he can tell you, and you know, if you wrong, I tell you you wrong. If I like wrong, son. she, I tell her she wrong. I don't, all I don't right, uphold listen, both okay. of one of them. We've heard enough testimony. In order to get to the bottom of this, this court is ordering you to take a polygraph examination today. <laughs> right now. You are going to leave this courtroom, go take that examination, yes, and you will return here, and we will look at the results at that time. Yes, Ron, would you escort Mr. Laurent out right now? Yes, sir. We are in recess at this time. The court has now reconvened in the case of Laurent versus Laurent. In our prior session, the court ordered a polygraph examination of Mr. Laurent. And we now have the results. The court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Williams into yes, the courtroom? Sure. Mr. Williams, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? How are you? Mr. Williams, you had an opportunity to conduct a polygraph test of Mr. Laurent today yes, at the court's order. Yes, ma'am. You had some questions you asked him. Yes, the first question, did you have sexual contact with the woman with whom you were in the car? What was his response? His response was no. What did the lie detector show? The lie detector showed that there was a significant physiological response to that question, which indicated to me that he was being deceptive. I didn't... I did not have sexual relationships with this woman. And I, I don't... Did you have I, sexual contact with the woman? If you kissed her, you fondled her, you did everything but have sex with yes, her. Did that happen? Yes, but never sexually with her. I knew you was with that girl. I will. I, I, Man, whatever. Sleeping with Please. her. Please. Next question. Sleeping with her. We'll go to the next question. That wasn't even a question. Man, whatever. Next question, please. Mr. Williams, yes, the next question was: Other than the one time you admitted to cheating, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women since you have been married? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this particular question, there was significant physiological responses, which indicated that he was being deceptive. I admit it to... I admit it that I have. I admit it to, that I have. So you confess that you've had yes. sexual relations 
other than the time that yes. you admitted to. But you said no when she asked you earlier. You want the truth. You a liar. You're mad about the truth. I'm mad because you took me here to lie. It hurt me to see her so angry that even her mother just, like, leave him, and I'm trying to show her that, babe, like, I don't want to break up my family over no females, and I've been doing everything in my but power But you didn't fail every question. Down. Mr. Laurent, if you want to save your marriage and you want to save your family, you should have stayed away from those other women. Yeah. It's, it's that easy. <laughs> if you can't keep yourself under control then you need to stay away from women and keep yourself out of situations where you're going to do the wrong thing. You all have been married for four years, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Correct. Mr. Shepard, why have you opened this case today in court? Well, Your Honor, I'm just tired of Diane's lies and cheating. I'm just up to here with it, so I've contacted a, a divorce attorney. So you're already kind of partially down that road? Yes, Your Honor. And you contacted the divorce attorney because you believe your wife is cheating. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, tell I me about that. Why do you believe this lovely woman is cheating? She tells me that she had cheated with this... some guy she met at a fast food place, okay? And she even called me by his name. Wow. Ms. Shepard. No, no. Ms. Shepard. No. Yes. <laughs> you know how your husband feels. Yes. What do you want to show him today? I love my husband dearly. No, you don't. I love my That's husband. Not the way you... My husband Look, is not right. I don't he's he's it. not telling the truth. He's not I telling the truth. I believe it. I never cheated on my I husband. It for never a ever. You've been lying since day one. I'm not a cheating person. I wasn't start raised now. like that. You've been well, lying and I honor my one. marriage. When, ever since we've been married, I honor my marriage and stand behind my marriage. Everything is at stake today. Everything is at stake today, Your Honor. I see from the court papers that you all have been separated before. Three times, Your Honor. Three times. And so this relationship is a mess because you've been separated three times in four years of marriage. Am I right? That's yes. correct. Yes. yes. I'm standing here looking at you all, and you are passionate about this marriage. You are passionate about what's going on. You look hurt. You look angry and frustrated. It could not have been like this the whole time. No. Can no. you tell me about some happier times? Oh. Were they happier times? You, yes, Your Honor. When I met my husband, Oh, my God. He invited me for dinner. I went out, and I met him, and I pulled up. He was standing outside. And I looked at him, you know. I didn't want him to know that I was looking at him. And uh, I looked at him, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I could, <laughs> you know. I could see myself with that. Well, you so know? how did you all meet? On Plenty of Fish. OK, so you met on a dating Web. site. Yeah. Online. And we talked, <laughs> and we talked, and he called, and he's like, come on, you know, go out. And I'm like, no, no. And he called me. He's like, come on, come on. I'm like, no, I don't want to come. He's like, I said, okay, I'll meet you. So I met him, and every, from that day to this one, we've been together. So you saw him and said, I gotta have that. I gotta have that, And yes. what did you think did... when you saw her? I was like, my jaw dropped, you know what I mean? Because I was, I was so lonely coming off the road, you know? And, and, and she told me she was lonely, too. So, for somebody to make his jaw drop, I mean, she's got to be spectacular. Yeah, yeah. So, and you saw her and, that, and it was on. Yeah, it and then our wedding. Then we went. Then you got... We got... You got yeah. married. Yes. And I had my wedding the way that I wanted it. Oh, that's my goodness. That's my a wedding. beautiful dress. Yes. With a oh. matching vest. And that's what I wanted, young. That's how I won my wedding. You know, it was very, very nice. Very nice. And you know? now, those faces are these faces. Yes. And yeah. you all are at each other's throat. Yes. Yeah. Well, he's at me more than I am him. Yeah. He's been to the divorce attorney. Right. So, I mean, you, he's taking steps down that road, and... But he did, and I didn't even know. I didn't know. You did not know. know he had seen a divorce attorney? No. So, is this the first that you're hearing of this? Before he got here, he mentioned it to me, you know? But it's like, I just put it in the back of my mind because there's so much going on. The well, thing is... He's serious about this. I yeah. mean, you don't go to a divorce Very attorney true. unless you're serious. That means this is on the line. What were the warning signs that she was cheating? I've been on the road for uh, two months. I come home, and we getting busy, and all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, something ain't right. It don't feel right. So I go, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -uh, wait, uh -uh. wait, wait, wait. Mrs. Shepard, you say it doesn't feel right. No. He's lying. You've been out on the road, you come home, you're ready to get intimate with your wife. You think there's a reason why it feels different? Definitely. 
All right, Miss Shepherd, this has got to be painful for you to hear that your husband is saying these things. Am I right? Yes, yes. All right, can you tell me what happened? Your Honor, my husband is gone like he said. He's gone all the time. Okay. I'm home. I'm lonesome. I, I'm a woman, you okay. know? So I'm not going to go out and cheat on my husband. So I have proof. Okay. Well, what kind of proof you got? You ain't got no proof. Here's my proof, Yana. What? That's right. my proof. Well, how come All I ain't right. never showed you? You ain't never showed me get, about uh, it. Miss Shepard's proof. Yes, Yana. You ain't never showed me that. How come you gonna tell? You told I me told that, you. but you ain't never showed me. I ain't never seen that before in my life, Yana. I told Your you. Honor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, while your husband's gone, this is an article. Yes. It's a sex toy. Yes. That you use. Yes. To... Okay. While he's gone. Yes. That's not what you told me. That still is no proof. Well, I've never been able to claim I, I, proof I, I, not one it, thing that it you It definitely said. fills not the box. Thing. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. That's what I use. Rob, All right, Rob, would you take this, please? Uh, I don't know. But I, you I, believe I that, that you believe that she was intimate with someone else. I do, Your Honor. You don't and believe that was the reason. I don't believe that, Your Honor. She told me herself that she had been with her ex. I told him that because every time I tell my husband, no, I'm not cheating on you, no, that's not what he wants to hear. So you know what? I just get tired of him just pounding on me, pounding on me all the time. Lie. So yes, I lied to him. No, I lie. did. Okay, let's, let's take a step okay. back. Let's take right a step there. back. I, tell, tell us what happened, Miss Shepard. My husband cheated on me. He came home. I felt it. I knew what he had did. So he finally told me. So I was really, really angry and hurt, but I didn't say anything to him because I can't talk to my husband. Oh, you did this and you did that. And I said, no, I didn't. So, I'm okay, I'm gonna tell you what you wanna hear. And what did you tell him? I told him that I cheated on him with my ex. What was your response? I was shocked. I was shocked. All I wanted to know was the detail. Where did you go? What did you do? How many times did you do it? Did it, did it. And did so she what? give you all those details? She told me, she gave me the details. So, so not you only... asked her and then for she details. That she didn't do it. She just made up the whole story after she told me she did. So not only did she tell you she was with the ex, she gave you details. Gave me details. Not and only and told you one, when... But with the when... second one as well. I'm sorry, what? The details of the second encounter as well with the guy that she claims she met that works at some fast food place. What did she tell you? They talked for uh, a few weeks or so, and acting, you know, she said they went to a hotel, and she gave me the same story about uh, he couldn't get it up, and he couldn't, and his, he couldn't even do oral right. So I just got frustrated, and I just got in my car and I left. So this is not a situation where your wife just kind of throws out, well, I was with somebody else. She's giving you details. She's giving you places. Yep. She's giving you specifics. Yes, Your Honor. So you have no choice but to believe her because she's telling you everything that's going on. It came from her own lips. From her own mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Shepard. Yes. Why would you do that? Because my husband never know when to stop. You that's... can't talk to him. When he make that's up no his excuse. mind, that's what it is. So you know what I'm sitting there like. No okay, is this what he wanted? Yes, I did it. Because you know what, Your Honor, I want my husband to feel like I felt when he cheated on me. Okay, I want him to feel the pain. But you understand that I two understand. wrongs don't make a right. Your Honor, I know that. That's why I went back and I told him that I lied and I'm and I'm sorry. I said I didn't do it. That's not me. So you lied twice to it. I you... lied. Yes, I did. I it, did. It was a, a detail but lie. Is your... Yeah. I mean, that's one. That, that was a detail yeah. lie with times and places and not Which... and not just one person, but two. Why did you have to tell him two people? Because he kept saying, "Oh, I know it's somebody else. I know it's somebody else. So you it's just... somebody I knew." <laughs> so I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, yeah. it was. Okay, yeah. and it is. And it, it, but it's not no one. It's no one right here. So it's. <laughs> That's to somebody. I don't believe it. That's to somebody. I don't believe it. No. I can talk to someone. Oh, oh, you, you cheating on you. You like that guy? I don't even know. You know, sometimes I just talk to people. My husband is so jealous. He thinks that I'm doing what he's doing, and that's not the case. He he needs to stop feeling like I'm cheating with everybody. No. Because you believe that Miss Shepard has been cheating, we've asked a friend of the court to come and share with us about her experiences with infidelity. At this time, the court will call reality star from WeTV's 
Braxton's family values, Miss Evelyn Braxton. Ron, please show her into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Good morning, how are you? You're fine, thank, thank you. you for it's being good to see here. you. So, we have two people here, and they are going through their own personal traumas. Could you share with them some of the experiences you've had because of infidelities in your relationships? I, too, have gone through infidelity mm -hmm. with my past relationship. It was a struggle. I prayed, I fast, I did a lot of things just to get through the portrayal. You've been listening to the testimony. What advice can you give them? Well, the advice that I'm going to give you first is that you need to start loving yourself. Yes. And for you, Mr. Shepherd, stop bringing the mistrust in your relationship because with that, you cannot build. Go to counseling and get counseling if this marriage is worth it. Mr. Shepherd specifically has testimony right out of his wife's mouth that she cheated. It was details. What would you say to her about that kind of response? I think what you were trying to do was to get his attention. But you made a great error because that stuck in his mind. Yeah. I'm cheating, I'm this. And what comes out of your mouth is life. Mm. So what did you do? Rather than bring life to your marriage, you brought death. Once that genie's out of the bottle, you can't put it back in. Thank you so much, Ms. Braxton. Thank you for having me. Here's what we're looking at. You claim that you returned home, you were having relations with your wife, it just didn't feel the same. And she told you that it was because she was with an ex and she was with some guy at some fast food restaurant. Yes, Your Honor. And there's a difference in your relationship. There's a major difference in our relationship. To the point I had to contact a, a divorce attorney. That's how serious I am. And in contacting a divorce attorney, that's your first step to ending this relationship if you find out that she's cheating. Yes, Your Honor. What we want to do right now is to find out what's going on. This court has conducted a full and complete investigation to determine, is she cheating? At this time, the court would like to hear from licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Shull. Ron, please escort Mr. Shull into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Shull, good day. Good day. How are you, Your Honor? We're good. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You conducted a full polygraph examination of Ms. Shepard. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. And you are here to share the results of that testing? Yes, I am. All right. For the court record, would you share your credentials? Be glad to. I spent uh, almost 30 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C. Um, when I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. And it's safe to say that you have done literally hundreds of polygraph examinations. Thousands, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Shepard was asked, since being married, have you had physical, sexual, contact with your ex. What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Shepard, I don't see any sign of relief on your face. You still have concerns. You still have doubts. Very much so, Your Honor. And, Ms. Shepard, how does that make you feel? After coming back with this least first result that you were being truthful, how do you feel knowing that he still has doubts? It hurt, you know, because I want him... Since he know, he's telling him that I didn't... I told the truth. I just want him to feel, you know, a relief. Well, my wife at least told me the truth, you know? Well, we still have another question. Mrs. Shepard was asked, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your husband during your marriage? What was her response to that question? Her response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful, Your Honor.
Mr. Shepard, I can see that even though you've gotten answers that you came in for, you still aren't fully satisfied. And Ms. Shepard, you came in to prove something, and the results proved that you were being truthful. We want to help you to resolve this. We want to talk to you in chambers, because I think there's some more issues that we need to explore before you all move forward. So at this time, court will be in recess until further notice. You all have been together for three years. You're engaged. But that marriage is on hold because, Mr. May, you believe your fiancé is cheating with your twin brother. That is correct, Your Honor. Cheating is bad enough. Cheating with a family member is bad enough. Cheating with a brother has got to be, you know, even worse. But cheating with a twin brother, what does that make you feel like? It's heartbreaking because not only would I be losing, of course, my fiancé, I would be losing a twin as well. So how has this affected your relationship with your twin brother? Uh, we hardly ever talk. Like, we go, we went from every day where, I mean, we stay in close communication, and now we don't even talk. I, I may call him once in a while. I think we said happy birthday to each other recently, but that was it. You think you said happy birthday I to think. the person you share a birthday with? Yes, I think. And we didn't even see each other, and we, we spent all of our birthdays together. Mr. Junker. You have sat there quietly listening to this. How does it feel to have your fiance accusing you not only of cheating, but cheating with his twin? It's uh, killing me. Because I'm not cheating. I've never even che cheated with his twin brother at all. I have the sexy twin. They do not even look alike. <laughs> they do not even look alike, period. So you're saying, not only am I not cheating with him, but I got the one I want. Yes. Huh. And my ring right here, I wear it around my neck. If I put it on my finger, he makes me take it off, tells me I don't deserve it right now. We're not at that stage. So like, you, no, he's told... I'm constantly having to wear it around my neck. But this is your engagement ring you're wearing around your neck. Yes, it's my engagement ring. And you're wearing it around your neck because your relationship right now with Mr. May is so strained. Yes, he don't even wear his around his neck or have his. But he was allowed to wear it on his finger until this came up. And then we had to back up and I said, and we can't go any up. further until we get this settled first. These are unbelievable allegations, right? Right. And so I got to ask you the question. I... What what could you have possibly have found to support the belief? Well, going through his phone, I did find twin porn on his phone. And <gasps> if you're looking at twin porn, that means you're attracted to me, but you're also attracted to my brother. You said twin porn? Twin porn, yes, sir. This is And I don't porn... mind looking at porn. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of porn myself. <laughs> but, but you just can't be looking at twin porn when you're with a twin, because that's just not... And if... twin porn, as the name might suggest, is porn that features twins. Correct, yes. I want to talk Wait about Wait a minute, this... Tyler, I got a question. <laughs> what, why am I afraid? Don't be afraid. Why, why Don't am be I afraid? afraid? Don't be afraid. Could you handle two of me? Woo! <laughs> what? Could I... Could you handle two of me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. No question. All day. All day. Oh, that, that's easy. I got that. You got that? Yeah. Mr. Junket, a twin porn? It's just porn to me. That's all it is. He threw a big deal about it and kicked me out of the house. It's just porn to me. It's... Porn is porn, Until and the, the one he happened to catch you watching Until happened you to be porn. twin porn. Yes, it's just porn to me. Until okay, you have but a twin. Secretly, do you really want to be no, with your I don't. fiance and his twin brother? No, I don't. You doubt? No, they do not look nothing like. I mean, everybody me wants to want to be with and only but... him. I want to marry him. There's no secret fantasy. No, working there's here. not. Everybody wants to be in a threesome at least once, but <laughs> it's a whole other thing when you're inviting another family member, a twin. You know, that's a whole different. Well, hey, I'm the only one who wants to be in a threesome. So do you? Hey, I said everybody wants to. I said everybody wants to. You know. But you're saying not with my twin brother. Exactly. All right. All right. No threesome with the twin, Cutler. No, no to file. No to file. Exactly. <laughs> so, Mr. May, what else have you found to make you think that your fiancé is cheating with your twin brother? Well, I found his number, my brother, my brother John's number, in his phone, not once, not twice, but three times. You Wait, you found yes. your twin brother's number in Mr. Junket's phone? Three times. I go through his phone. 
Okay, okay. you're going through the phone. I got to know what's going on with my man. And you, you see know. your... Period. I go through the phone. He knows it. Okay, so you're going through Mr. Junkett's phone and you see your brother's name. Correct. The first time. And no big deal. I just went ahead and took it off. No problem. So you deleted it from Mr. Correct. Junkett's phone. Yes, sir. And that's because of the twin port. He's like, yeah. no, no. You didn't want it in there. No. Okay. okay, fine. So when you found your twin brother's phone number in Mr. Junkett's phone the second time, what did you do? I asked him about it and said, why is it in here? And it's just like mine was. And he said, oh, your contacts must have been switched over to my phone or something. Ah, so like it now, synced up. And yeah. that's how it got Yeah, there. but okay. no, no, don't, nobody knows my passwords. I keep it that way. All right. So. Okay. So you deleted it the second time. Correct. All right, tell me you did. You found it a third time. The third time. All Here's right. the kicker. It was saved under his old job under a second number. So that way I couldn't even see the name or nothing, so. How did you find out it was in the phone, man? I searched his phone. So you just, you that kind of person? Uh, yeah, that kind of person. You that guy? I'm that guy. All right, like Charlie's Angels. Well, you all over it. Exactly. I know 100%. There's no question, because I'm going to know or we just can't go. All right, Mr. Junker, why do you keep put, putting his brother's I number don't. back in there? I don't. The first time, his brother called me. So, I didn't answer it. A family member, I think, gave him my phone number because a family member thought it was his phone number because a couple of days before that, his family member texted me on that. Okay. I never called it back. How did it get there the second time? He After he deleted it. Text synced up because I had several different numbers from his phone onto mine. How did it get in there the third time under your work? I have no clue because when I some of my numbers saved on my phone Accidentally, like I had a driver call me the other day and it ended up saving under another name. You need to don't get you your find... phone service straight up. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, I don't know. Thank you. Don't you find that suspicious? Very. Don't you find that suspicious? No, because I ain't done nothing with this twin. <laughs> and don't plan on it. <laughs> Mr. May's like, yes, I do find it suspicious. <laughs> and that's why you're here. Exactly. All right. Here. Mr. May, have you ever confronted your brother about a relationship with Mr. Junkert? I'm pretty outspoken, if y'all can't tell yet. Yeah, I can tell you the shy, reticent yeah. type. A, a couple of times. The first few times, it was no, nothing happened. And then I guess we were arguing or something, and he decided, yeah, we didn't mess around while you were at work. And to me, you're gonna say that, you got a guilty conscience, or you bend down. So your twin brother just said, yeah, we were messing around while you were at work. Exactly, yes. And I mean, why else are you gonna say that unless you really mean it? Mr. Junkert. Why would Mr. May's twin brother say he had been with you if he hadn't? He said it in an argument out of anger just he to piss it him too. off. And I had not said I slept with your brother, thank you. He said, there are lots of things you should. Say, there are lots of things you say in an argument. Why that particular thing? Why would he, of all things, he could say in an argument? Accused. Just you, like I did. I said I should to prove you right. I'm always right. That period. No, you're not. <laughs> always. You know what? I... I... <laughs> You got twin porn. You got your, his brother's number showing up three times on your phone. Nobody can explain it. Twice hidden. Twice hidden. And then you got the Thank twin you. brother saying, I did sleep with your fiance. Thank you. What else are we gonna do except have your side, his side, and the twin brother's side? He is here. <laughs> Yeah, they twins. Mm -hmm. Don't you tell nobody, though. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your full name for the record. My name is Jonathan May. You are Mr. Roger May's twin brother, correct? Yes, ma'am. And you are the gentleman, you are the man accused of sleeping with your twin brother's fiance, correct? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe that Mr. Junkert is cheating on your brother? Oh, yeah, yeah, but just everything that goes on, I, I do believe, but it's not with me. How, how does it feel to be accused of cheating by your own twin brother? Oh, it's horrible. It, it, it shouldn't be happening. I mean, I, that's my brother. We, we shared the same, you know, mom, same womb and everything. At the we, same time? Yeah, we've been through everything <laughs> together, and then this is just tearing it up. It's, we don't see each other, we don't hang out no more, nothing like that. So why did you admit to him, why did you say that you had slept with Mr. Junkert? Months of going on, you know, just him accusing, accusing. It didn't matter what I said. He wasn't going to believe it anyway. So to shut him up, I said yes, and he shut up. 
No. Well, no. how do I we don't shut up? How do we know that you're not just telling us that just to shut us up? How Amen. do we know you didn't sleep with Mr. Jones? That's all it is. I'm 150% straight. So you're straight. Yes, sir. Yes. I watch I lesbian porn because I don't want to see a guy in my fantasy. No, <laughs> no nothing like that. So, so you don't have any romantic interest in Mr. Junkert whatsoever? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, there it is. I've messed with more straight guys than I have gay, so oh. it don't matter. To me, well, it does. Mr. May over <laughs> here, not Mr. May down there. Yes. I mean, it's a pretty powerful statement. I believe my twin brother's fiance is cheating. Why is that? Because he's caught him before. I mean, they, and he's admitted to it one time before and everything. Mr. May, is that true? There's been cheating in the past? There has, and it was very early in our relationship. And he did come out, but it took three years for that to come out. And if you hit it for three years, what el how long do I have to wait for something else to come out? So that has really fueled this issue for you. It is. It's... I mean, that's my brother. That's my fiance. And now I have neither one of them, so... So, Mr. Junkert, you cheated in the past. Yes, I have, and I meant it to him. I but three years three later? Years. Yes. Are we gonna have to wait another three no, years to find I'm out that you cheated? On him again. It may be four. Who knows? <laughs> but you understand how this is going to make your life the living hell that shows on your face. Because I know. not I, only were you I not... I did it out of revenge. Because I thought he cheated on me with his ex. But here's the thing, and this is the key, and I hope you hear me. Nothing good comes from revenge. Amen. Revenge does not belong to you. Amen. Okay? Thank you, you only stab yourself. <laughs> and, and, and I see you weeping because you know it's true. And, and Mr. May is hurting also. Tell him what it feels like to you just having to deal with the thought that he may be cheating with your twin brother. Like, you know, it's constant. Like, I have no peace, no rest. Nobody to turn to. You know that. I know, baby. Everything I tell you, though, you don't believe me. You call me a liar. Well, I that's because we're not three not. years down the road yet. So I don't know if it's true or not. All right, Mr. Cutler. I, well, I, I, I we, got we, a, we got a lot. Yeah, I think <laughs> we've heard enough evidence. And so to bring clarity... To this situation, we have done a complete and full investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to see, is he cheating? <laughs> Tommy Platt. Would you share your credentials, please? Yes, ma'am. I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for over 11 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. All right, let's do this. I'm extremely nervous. Why are you nervous? He's afraid it's gonna be true and it's not. That's my life. He's Rachel. Your life is in the balance. Are you gonna walk out of here with a brother and a fiance or are you gonna walk out alone? Exactly. Uh, what if he fails? Done. I mean, that, that's the ultimate betrayal. Okay. Mr. Platt? Yes, ma'am. It's all on you. You asked... Since the start of your relationship with Mr. May, Roger May, in April of 2016, have you had physical sexual contact with his twin brother, Jonathan May? What was his response? He stated no, Your Honor. What was the results of the lie detector? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> Told you, Dave. Woo. Told you. I, 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 ha told you. I, I have to tell you, Mr. May, of all the results I've heard, this was the one that made my stomach tighten up. I'm telling you. Okay. Mr. Platt, you also asked Mr. Junker, other than what Mr. May already knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. May, since your engagement. What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. 
Mr. Mayor, you were in danger of losing a fiance and a brother when you walked in here. Now you get to walk out with both. How does that make you feel? Oh, thankful. Is he allowed to put that ring back on? Yes, he can. All right. Can he take it off of his neck and put it on his ring finger where it belongs? <laughs> Mr. May, number two, as he said, I'm glad you get your you. brother back. Yeah. Love you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. All right. Oh, it's a yeah. All right. Come on, man. Yeah. I told you, man. Thank you, guys. And what's the lesson learned? Trust your love. If you love each other, build on that. <laughs>